Canada is back. Real change or something? The Liberal government okayed 383 delegates to attend the Paris climate talks on the taxpayer's dime, wasting millions of dollars and only to receive another fossil award. And these awards aren't a good thing. They're given out to countries for stalling climate talks and saying things and just not coming through on them. The US, Canada and New Zealand are asking vulnerable countries to commit to never talking about it ever again. Canada has been the recipient of fossil awards numerous times and for many years. We've even been granted the Lifetime Unachievement Fossil Award, but this time it was handed to us for not supporting a discussion on poor countries that are vulnerable to natural events caused by climate change, or weather as I like to call it. Here's what Justin Trudeau had to say about this decision. Well, I think it's very clear uh, that the developed world uh, couldn't uh, sign on to unlimited financial liability uh, that would be on our kids and grandkids for the impacts on, of climate change on the developing world. I don't know about you, but I find it rather ridiculous that a guy that's put four billion dollars on the backs of Canadians is even talking about debt loads that our children and grandchildren are going to have to pay off. But the funniest thing is that the Climate Action Network is the group doling out these awards. Their members include the Sierra Club, the Suzuki Foundation, and of course Tides, the usual suspects. Tides is, of course, a well-known strategic philanthropy group that funds progressive projects, and they have ties to foreign funding through their US counterpart that also has ties to George Soros. Another interesting member of the Climate Action Network is the Pembina Institute. You might remember that Marlo Reynolds was once the executive director at the Institute, but now he's the chief of staff for the Minister of Climate Change and Environment, Catherine McKenna. The Institute once put out an oil sands moratorium to completely shut down operations in Alberta, and now they're on board with the accelerated coal phase out. And McKenna and Reynolds were the first to trot out this Canada is back slogan. And now they're receiving an award for their less than stellar performance at the Paris Climate Talks from their friends. Does this mean it's friends off for Reynolds and his left wing think tank buddies? For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Holly Nicholas.